He doesn't say no. He doesn't say yes. He's being wish-washy. He's trying to bamboozle you. Over there, look over here. Let's talk about Coach Greg now. You know, the man like the Hobbit. Coach Greg in today's video, calling out Mike O'Hearn in person. As you know, I was at the Mr. Olympia for the first time in 12 years. And Kenny K.O. is literally interviewing Mike O'Hearn, obviously about being a fake natty. And what does Mike choose to do? He then says, you know, that short little manlet, you know, the Hobbit, what's that guy's name? I'm going to watch this video. I'm going to respond to it. I'm going to explain exactly what's going on. I'm going to show to you once again, Mike O'Hearn, he's basically a politician. He avoids answering all the questions. He misdirects everything. And so let's watch the video. So the one yes. big question I have for you this expo, yeah. do you still claim lifetime natural? Well, the cool thing is we get to put out the blood work. Do you want us to give you the blood work first? And so first things first, blood work. How many times have I requested Michael Hearn's blood work? If I got his blood work, I would have made a video. Hey, going over Michael Hearn's blood work said exactly what he needed to. Remember, he was dieting down. He was guest posing. He was looking at his all-time best in his 50s. Hey, show me your blood work then, and I will say if you're natural or not. But he didn't do it. Why do you think that may be? And so he's saying, oh, I'm going to show you my blood work. I'm going to show you. And so what does Mike do? He goes off cycle, perhaps just on HRT, says, look, my testosterone levels, they're in the normal range. That proves that for the last 30 plus years, I haven't touched anything. Your blood work is only a reflection of what's happening right now. Mike O'Hearn, my opinion, is he's blasting test trend everything. And then in the off season, when he's not guest posing his own, he's just on HRT. And so whether or not he shows his blood work, of which I don't think he's going to do, but even if he does, I believe he's only going to show a few markers, for example, testosterone and not show everything else. And so he'll say, you see my blood work, my testosterone, it's only at a thousand nanograms per deciliter. That's in the normal range. And so that's proof that I'm natural. Well, remember, I've been on HRT for years and my testosterone levels are always within the normal reference range. But does that actually mean I'm natural? Of course it doesn't. So do you take TRT? Natural is natural, right? And any kind of TRT or HRT would be unnatural, right? And so Kenny asks, are you on HRT? Because you're sponsored by an HRT clinic. He says, look, if you're on HRT, it's not natural. And so Mike is literally saying at this point, he's not on HRT, he's not on anything. Just because he's sponsored by an HRT clinic doesn't mean he's on HRT. It would be like being sponsored by harder than last time supplements and not using supplements. Is that what people are doing now? Going, hey, I'm natural, but I'm on TRT? And and so to me, it's obvious if you're on HRT, it's not natural. Just because you're giving your body what it's supposed to do, if you didn't actually make it and you're getting testosterone from an exogenous source from outside the body, it means you're not natural. And you're on TRT right now. Right, correct. Because you did it young, right? You did it. Like three, three-ish years ago. For TRT, that is. Don't you think that that's a little young? And so I really like this. Michael Hearn is saying, Kenny. You were on steroids at a very young age. Look how young you are. Do you really think you need HRT if you're in your 20s or perhaps even in your 30s? That is very young. And so please, if you're listening to this out there, don't start taking testosterone in the first place. If you take testosterone and suddenly stop, you're probably going to crash and then you may need HRT for the rest of your life. Most of you want to be like double nickels like me. It's still kind of healthy and got good blood markers and all that. Well, we need to see your blood work. That's why you got to send it to me, you yeah? know? Yeah, I guess that would be a, a great thing. And so Mike at 55, is he actually going to show his blood work? He suggests he is, but how easy is he to say, oh yeah, sure, I'm going to send it. Just like I've asked people to do videos in the past. Yeah, we're going to do a video, but years go by and there's no video. They say, yes, I will, but then it never happens. And so is Mike actually going to show his blood work? I don't think so. And you're such a puppy right now, but imagine twice your age being able to still do that. That's what, in my belief, Health and fitness should be about. And so I also agree with Mike. Health and fitness is all about being able to do this for the long term. What good is looking amazing? Perhaps you're in your 20s. You're Chris Bumstead, Mr. Olympia champion. But what happens when you're in your 50s? Mike is not promoting HRT to people who don't use it. But at 55, does anyone actually think he's still natty? I'm promoting Optimum Health. So are you doing it though? Are you optimizing your health? But I already answered health? that. We answered that. Wait, don't keep going wait, back. Don't keep going back. I'm showing you the blood work. Yeah. So you can go with it. And so is he really 
Is he really showing the blood work? Because he's already done the guest posing. He was already at his best. And so why did he take and show his blood work then? He's part of an HRT clinic. It's not like he doesn't have it. He clearly is getting the blood work done. We've seen it. He's mentioned it. I have all my blood work done. It's in check. It's healthy. Well, show it. Do you really want us to believe that you're natural? Oh, I passed every drug test in my entire life. Have you ever even been drug tested? When's the last time? Oh, I've been doing this for 45 years. I passed every test. When's the last time you've ever been tested? Regardless of how I competed and did my drug tests through my teens and 20s and 30s and 40s. Still doing those drug tests and coming up natty. When has he been drug tested? I haven't heard of him doing a drug test. Has anyone ever seen Michael Hearn get drug tested? Leave a comment in the description. When has Mike ever been tested? Now, is that wrong that a natty guy is promoting a company that does HRT to you and your viewers? My answer is no, but Kenny says, look, if you're transparent and honest, sure. But if you're lying about being on HRT and you're not, then of course it's not okay. One big thing I wanted you to do though, is that you started young. Not young for the bodybuilding world, but young uh, for a I, person. I started young, yeah. And that set you up to fail. And so Mike is saying, look, Kenny, you started testosterone far too young and that set you up to fail. And that is a great point. If Kenny had not have taken anabolic steroids at a young age, he likely would not need HRT right now. And so if you're a young person listening to this, don't start testosterone in the first place. The good thing about me is that I've been in this so long is that I get to work with somebody like that and go, hey, guys, get your blood work done. If you need something, do something. If you don't, you're good. How can you argue with Mike here? He makes a very valid point. If you get your blood work done and you're good, then you're good. You don't need to take anything. But if it's bad, then and only then do you need to do something about it. And so to me, that's a great message. So are you natural or not? You ain't, I ain't giving you that. He doesn't say no. He doesn't say yes. He's being wish-washy. He's trying to bamboozle ya. Look over there, look over here. Let's talk about Coach Greg now. You know, the man like the Hobbit. But we will wait until you reveal until the you answer the when the timing's work. right yeah. and you can send me the blood work. Yeah. He's not gonna say yes, he's not gonna say no. And so what I know is people, they do not like to lie. Whenever possible, people prefer not to lie. And so if you're asked straight up, are you doing this? He could easily just say, nope, I am not and lie. Remember what happened with the liver king though? When you find out that you've been lying deliberately on purpose, it doesn't look good. And so Michael Hearn redirects the attention to someone else. Look over there. And then what I want you to do, what's what's uh, the little guy, the hobbit's name? Uh... Break. And so he then responds with, what I want you to then do is the, the little guy, the hobbit, the manlet, uh, let's talk about him. Because obviously what Coach Greg does affects if Michael Hearn is natural or not. He did like one show and got busted for the drug test, right? And he tried to slip into a natural show. And so he points out of which I've already discussed in a previous video of how I failed a drug test in the past. And so if you want to watch all about that of which I've talked about it in length, remember in 2009, I failed a powerlifting drug test. I wasn't on anything for the powerlifting competition, but I was in fact on an eight week cycle for bodybuilding several months prior. And so I ended up failing the drug test. And I then later on entered a local bike race and they came to drug test me because of course it's Coach Reg. And I'd written on my Instagram wall, I'm on doctor prescribed HRT, 120 milligrams a week. And so they came up to drug test me. But of course, I'm on HRT, I can't pass. And so despite the fact that I had a doctor's prescription, it was still not okay. Because after all, why would you want a 200 pound bodybuilder competing against other bike riders where being smaller benefits you? But what does this have to do with Michael Hearn? Why haven't you ever explained to the people how I did blood tests and drug tests from teens until my 50s and never ever come up anything negative. I mean, aside from the fact that people pass drug tests all the time, he lists out Lance Armstrong and others. Well, there's also this, you've not been tested. Think of it, had I not showed up to that bike race, I wouldn't be banned, I could compete anywhere. And I'm on HRT, prescribed by my doctor. But in the bike world, you can't be on HRT. But here's the point I'm trying to make. Mike isn't tested. He's not competing in drug-tested sporting competitions. And so he's not cheating. He's not going in competitions to try to beat other people by using testosterone to gain an advantage. He's just not competing. When's the last bike race Michael Hearn asked? When's the last drug-tested competition that Michael Hearn has ever entered? He hasn't been competing for years. And so how easy it would be for every year that he continues to get better, he just ups the dose. 
Perhaps earlier years, he was on only HRT. The next year, a higher dose. Perhaps he starts at 100 milligrams a week. The next year, 150, 200, 250. By 10 years in, you're on 1,000. 20 years in, you're on test trend, growth hormone, insulin, you're on everything. We don't know. He doesn't say it. That's the point. But he's not being drug tested. And so what he's doing is trying to move your attention over to someone else. No, let's not talk about me. Let's point the finger over there. Let's be mad at Coach Greg. Eventually, Man, yeah, you busted. know, if you do enough tests and maybe you're and both relaxed. Both guys and... lasted 10 years. I've been doing it for 40 years. So you're saying I've just been really, but really you're smart. Good. I love it. Yeah, you know how smart Mike is to get away with passing the drug tests? He doesn't do them in the first place. I'm just going to avoid being drug tested. I'm not going to enter anything where they're going to test me. How intelligent do you have to be to say, hmm, I'm not going to show up anywhere where they're going to test me. And if they don't test me, how can I fail? How hard is that? He did do tests and he competed and he's always looked that size and he was always that strong. There was never the fluctuation of strength. There was never the fluctuation of size. I don't understand how they're saying there's no fluctuation of size and strength. Michael Hearn literally has said in his past he's close to 300 pounds. He cuts down to 240. He's up and down, back and forth. He's not nearly as straight as he is right now, probably because he's going to get blood work where his testosterone levels are going to go down. And even if he was the same size every single year, that to me would also be proof he's a fake natty. Do you really think you're going to look the same at 55 and you did at 35? That father time doesn't come for everyone? How would it be possible to have the same size your entire life if you're 100% natural? Oh, I'm 90. I'm the same size as when I'm 30. That's the proof that I'm natural. No, it's the proof that you are natural. I wish I was that smart. <laughs> He's smarter than you guys think, okay? This guy, uh, this guy is smart. And so there you have it. If you have lower levels of testosterone before needing to get HRT, why not at least try G-test or three test natural solution. It's not banned by water. You're not failing any drug test. And the ingredients shown in clinical research to improve testosterone levels by two to 400 nanograms per deciliter. That is huge. It's not like the test boosters of old, but G-test certainly can help. But of course, get a balanced diet. Don't get stressed out. Get plenty of sleep exercise, ending it here. Interested in G-Test or any harder than last time supplement, code Greg, 10% off. Click the link in description. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment and like all these things. Watch the bloops. And of course, the cookbooks, the training books, the circle diet book, all the books, the clothing line, head over to my website, code Greg, 10% off. And until next time, I am out.